Hey guys, if you follow me on Facebook, you would have seen this quite a while ago. This is the new Gonzo, and this is a very interesting design by Gonzo, and pretty exciting. You know, it's got its flaws, as every knife does. No knife is perfect, but man, is this an interesting little knife, and good action on it, too. You know, it's got that, you know, G, they call it a G-lock, um, but yeah, I mean, it's got a very nice, solid, I'm behind a camera, of course, so it's a little more difficult, and I'm left-handed. But yeah, as you can see here, this is a cleaver style from Gonzo. And you can see we have some pretty interesting stuff here. It's the usual 440C. You have your thumb stud there, which really I don't use. Nice deep finger choil. And you have your G-Lock, G10 scales. You have stainless liners, which look to be milled out. Open construction. Nice deep carry pocket clip, little jimping on the back. This ergonomically is a very comfortable knife to use. You can see, you know, you can get right up there close to the work. It's a lot of good grip. It's not too small for my hand. You know, so guys with bigger hands might dig this. So, what's the downfall? Well, the blade shape is the downfall. This cleaver style is kind of useful and kind of not useful. I find it to be a very good knife for food prep, you know, when you're cutting things, doing that kind of straight cut, because when you look, you can see I can actually touch the table with my hands on it, which is kind of nice, because a lot of knives you can't do that. So if you are cutting something, you can slice without your hands getting away. Because a lot of times when you end up using pocket knives, you, know, you end up having to kind of do weird angles. But no, the way this is set up, it actually, the blade will hit the ground first. You know, it has that nice little bit of a belly, so it makes it a very nice food prep knife. It does very good with, with food prep. It's a full flat grind as well, so you don't have any weird things for this thing to get hung up on. Downfall of the blade shape is tough for opening packages, because if you want to get to the tip, you really have to hold the knife at a very high angle to do those kind of pull cuts and drop cuts with the tip of the knife so if you're going to use this for opening packages all day long not the knife for you does this make a really good all-around camp knife i think so because in the end i don't use the tip a lot while i'm camping i tend to use you know the belly of the knife you're cutting rope cutting wood things like that i tend not to use the tip so when i think about as a folding knife i would like to bring camping this comes to mind because of that ability to you know very close up do some wood carving you know, you have that very good control, very good grip to it. And, uh, you know, it's got that uh, kind of thicker blade. So it's got a nice smooth action, greasy one-handed deployment. You can see it's got that orange colored backspacer. And this thing comes in orange and black right now. I'm sure Gearbest will have this out in like carbon fiber and all that in a heartbeat. You do have the new kind of blue um, hardware that they've been doing a lot. But yeah, overall, um, quality wise, Blade centering is good. The G-Lock, like I said, is good. It's not too tight. You know, it snaps back and forth really well. Thumb stud works good, too. I just don't, you know, you don't really need it. But if you need it, you can. Um, other downfall is the big hump. Carrying this in your pocket, being this is a uh, tip-up carry, you know, if you're carrying this in your right pocket, you're going to have that uh, kind of hump sticking out. And if that were to catch something, you do have the potential for that to open up. Um, I, you know, you can obviously switch it, which, can you? Yeah, I guess so. You just have to take that one screw up. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can switch this around, and I think it's really what it needs to be to be a safer knife is to be in your right pocket like this. That way the blade is up against the, the edge of your pocket. But as is, putting it in, you know, you do have to be careful of this catching something and popping open in your pocket. But it is adjustable. You can flip it around. So not the end of the world. Uh, this one came, but this is probably the dullest I've ever had a Gonzo show up to my house. It was um, barely enough to cut paper, didn't shave hair off the arm, you know, meh, you know, definitely better. But the cool thing about this 440C is it takes a tremendous edge very quickly. I literally just touched this thing up with a uh, ceramic rod, and after a couple of minutes and then a quick strop, this thing was shaving hair like a beast. Let's see. See this paw. You can see, you know, even this fine, you can see even that fine stuff, it shaves it very well because it is a nice 
kind of, even though the, the spine is thick, the spine is thick, it tapers down to a really nice thin edge. So this thing can take a beautiful edge. So we're gonna give it the old receipt paper test, which is a really good test for sharpness. We're gonna zoom on a little. You can see that cuts very nicely. This is old resync. You see that is getting really nice smooth cuts. And uh, so this makes for a very nice sharp edge on this thing. Uh, you can get a really good, very well refined edge with just a little bit of work on this guy. Um, cardboard performance is not the best. To be honest, we're actually going to... Sorry guys, we got to adjust a little bit. Give me some room to work under this camera here. Cardboard, you can see it's a lot of effort I had to put a lot of force into that to cut it um, I think because you know it's not the edge because it's a really nice thin edge to it but I think it's because the spine's a little thick just something about it this drags in cardboard now if you do kind of bevel a little bit and you cut at an angle you can it's a little bit smoother but you can see it wants to bind up now we're going to cut a cross grain now Not the smoothest, guys, you know? So, it's okay, you know? But if this were gonna be, if I worked in, you know, actually, believe it or not, at one point I worked in a factory and I did have to cut down boxes like, like every 90 seconds I had to cut a box. And uh, typically we just used radar blades back then. You're talking almost 20 years ago now. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, wouldn't be the kind of knife I would use for that. It's just, um, and for whatever reason, it drags in the cardboard. You know, it shaves hair, it's super sharp, but it, it binds up on cardboard. It's gotta be something with the edge geometry. It just doesn't like it, you know? And I've messed around with the sharpening a little bit, maybe, you know, I'm, you know maybe a slightly different angle or something like that might improve, um, but I'm really not too worried about it because this isn't, like I said, this is not a great EDC knife because of the way the tip is, you know? So it's not something I'm gonna, you know, but as for like a camp knife and things like that, I think it's a good way, you know, it's something you can use for food prep. It's, uh, you know, good for wood and things like that because of that grip. It's just, it's not the best cardboard slicer, guys. Just, you know, kind of being honest, but I do like it. I really think this is a very cool knife. It has a very nice look to it. Um, it photographs very well because you got that satin finish and the bright orange, you know, the textured G10 and all that. So overall, guys, and plus it's just fun. These... People may not say it, but these G-Locks are fun to snap them back and forth, and that's just a whole other thing. Price on this bad boy is 20 bucks, which is completely and totally in line with other things. You think about it, if you buy a Rat, Ontario Rat, you're talking 20 bucks. It's Aus 8 steel, and there's probably a good dozen people who've done comparisons, and Gonzo's 440 holds a better edge than Aus 8. So, you know, I think this is a better investment. But, you know, that shape, guys, like I said, you got that big hump. The shape is not the best for, for if you do those kind of drop cuts and all that a lot. But, yeah, this is something, if I were going to go camping, and I knew I was going to be doing a lot of cooking, a lot of food prep, you know, kind of car camping kind of thing, this would be a knife I would want to grab and carry in my pocket um, as far as that because it is something I can sharpen very easily and use for a good variety of tasks, you know, sharpening sticks, making tent pegs, stuff like that, but also, you know, have that good, you know, and that's one of the things, is that good, nice, choked up grip this thing has. This is very stable in the hands. You can get really nice and up close. And, uh, yeah. So a lot of good stuff to say out of this, guys. Available in orange and black. I grabbed it from Gearbest. They're available a couple different places now. They're starting to kind of come in now that they're here. But they, uh, I think, are going to be a pretty big knife. I think they look nice. You know, they're pretty functional. There's not the, you know, like this is not an EDC killer, guys. But overall, this is a pretty cool thing that Gonzo put out.